Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to show you today basically what we've done to replace a standard thermostat with a smart thermostat in our RV. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I got it done. So this is an absolute jumble of wires, but it all serves its own purposes. Now, smart thermostats typically require what's called a C wire. Uh, I think that stands for common. And that C wire carries 24 volt alternating current to return from the system. Household furnaces sometimes have that built in. Sometimes you can easily make that update to a, a residential system. RV systems were either stuck with 120 volts or 12 volt DC. Neither of those are gonna operate a smart thermostat because those need 24 volt AC. All of what you see here is designed to provide a way to get 24 volt AC regardless of whether we're plugged in to shore power or not. The way this is set up, I've got a set of inputs over here and then a bunch of components. What I have here, this black, this black box, is actually a 12 volt DC to 24 volt AC converter. And, or sorry, I guess that technically that's an inverter, but it takes 12 volts in and gives me my 24 volts out. Now, because this thermostat is gonna take that 24 volts and just pass it on to the, the heating or cooling, whatever needs it, I needed to find a way to make it so that the circuit would still provide 12 volts to the furnace or to the air conditioner. So that's what these two are for. These are single pull, single throw with a single normally open, single normally closed. That's a lot of words. Basically, uh, what I have these for is the thermostat is actually gonna provide power. In this case, this is the furnace one. It's gonna provide 24 volt AC into here and it'll return along all these green wires along the bottom and that will energize the coil making a connection between this white wire and this blue wire now i use a white wire here because w is typically the connection that's used for a uh, heating system inside of a thermostat and i use blue on this side because blue is the color of the thermostat wire on my furnace in our open range for cooling we actually have another one and the yellow wire typically operates, uh, there's a Y terminal on your thermostat. And so that's gonna provide the 24 volts and energize these wires. So 12 volts is gonna come in and then it runs back up to the 12 volt power for our Dometic CT thermostat. Okay, so I've covered really the functional bit. So what is this stuff in the center? Well, this is actually gonna allow me to run this system from our 120 volt system most of the time. So I'm really using this as a battery backup system. What's gonna be running this section, I'm gonna have a doorbell transformer because those do provide 24 volts AC. When the doorbell transformer is on, meaning we're plugged into shore power, this uh, this relay here is not going to be passing any power through. When 24 volts is applied to this one, the power is going to come in, go across these red wires, and then work its way to this terminal out through here, and then the red wire will take it up to this thermostat. I've got the other terminals connected because when I have the 24 volt off, the we don't have shore power it will turn on using these white wires it will turn this on it'll turn on the 12 volt to 24 volt inverter and then also create the connection between the outputs of the inverter to the red wire so i'm isolating the transformers inputs from the um the inverters inputs because they're on on separate sides of the equation and also preventing undue stress for the inverter by turning it off when I have shore power. So that's the way all this all this stuff works. So there's a lot a lot there, but I do have 
a 12 volt connection here. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. As soon as I plug that in, our thermostat kicks on. So that is telling us that things seem to be working just right. Do have 24 volts coming out of here, powering this thermostat. Now it's reading 69 degrees and it wants to heat to 70. So in a moment, we'll probably hear this relay click on and we'll also try to get some numbers on our multimeter. We'll see what happens here when I crank this heat up. Boom. So we've got just about 12 volts coming through here, which is good. That's heating. And then once it reaches its set temp, it's going to shut off. Now, similarly, when we talk about the cooling mode, the blue wire over here will, I guess you can't really see that very well. Uh, the blue wire over here will carry current back up through the thermostat wire to turn on the Dometic CT thermostat. And so when there's a, a call for cooling, let's get that cool enough, then we should get 12 volts on this blue wire. And we just about do. So that should be everything that is necessary. I'm not going to be able to show you how exactly these uh, two relays in the center work while I'm not all hooked up. We'll go ahead. I'll get this installed and get everything wired up on this side and we should be able to show you how this is going to work once everything is hooked up. All right, so I just kind of wanted to show you the final install here. I bolted this board to the back side of my steps essentially so I can get to it easily if I need to replace any of these components. It'll be pretty easy to do right here. And as you can see, I've just tapped into a 12 volt line up here. So that's feeding the 12 volt side of things over here. And then I've color matched my wires, blue, yellow, green, red, and white. So that is a five wire, um, five wire thermostat wire, uh, 18.5. And so that's running up to the thermostat. And then this end, the blue, up here is going to the furnace thermostat control wire and then my red and green come down here and they're attached to just a doorbell um, transformer right here was hooked into this 120 volt line now basically i don't know if i said this already but this uh this kind of transformer is only about 15 bucks and it's readily available at a hardware store so if this goes bad that's going to be a lot cheaper to replace than this uh, custom power stream 12 to 24 volt inverter and it takes a little bit to get one of these so i didn't want to rely on this alone so i've got kind of a um, redundant system here and I guess another nice thing is if the power goes out and this goes bad and this one is still good, we do have a regular inverter over here. So we can turn that on to restore power to our heating and cooling system. Well, I guess heating only because I'm not running the air conditioner on that inverter. Everything seems to be working just fine. When I turn the power to this off, this transformer turns off everything switches over to the DC to 24 volt transformer inverter thing and we don't go without heat at all and the changeover is fast enough that the thermostat doesn't seem to flicker or turn off at all so absolutely no loss of service I am probably gonna install like a little LED indicator light or something connected to this because if this transformer goes bad i will not know that power has shifted over and that i need to replace this 
So that is the only limitation that I can see in it right now. And when I get to doing that, I'll show you how I've done that. So hopefully you like this install video, guys. It's been uh, pretty cool for me. I love wiring things. It took me about two hours to wire this, this panel up and then another you know, 10 minutes to get it all installed in here. So really like the way that it turned out. Really happy with the fact that we have all these redundant options for keeping our, our heating. And the biggest benefit of this whole system is now we have a remote sensor in our bedroom so that when we're sleeping, our bedroom, we know is the temperature we set it for. So it's really cool, guys. Um, I don't know, it seems like a lot of work and if you're not into this kind of stuff, um, probably wouldn't recommend it to everybody, but it was a really cool, really fun project for me. Um, and yeah, so we'll, we'll probably give a report back in a few weeks or so, maybe next week, I don't know, we'll see. Once we've had a chance to really take a look at how that, that Honeywell thermostat works, if it's satisfying our needs. So go ahead, click that uh, subscribe button and the little bell icon so you can get notified when that video comes out. And give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Comment below what you think of this project and we will talk to you next time.